Let's um, let's just start in with um, with this. It is um, uh, this is our country, folks. This is our country. There was a massive. I'm sure you are all aware. A massive um, natural disaster that took place in part of the Bahamas. Bahamas is a series of many, many islands. I don't know how many, but a lot. Some of them are completely untouched by uh, Hurricane Dorian. Others completely wiped out. Um, It has been the case with the Bahamas that you do not need a visa. We Visa requirements, no, not every country is required to have a visa to come in. You need to show your passport. Port. Uh, you, there may be other documents uh, that, that, that you might need. You don't need a visa to go from America to Canada. Um, and... This is a a story uh, reported by Brian Enton. I don't know exactly who he is. Uh, He's a reporter in Miami, I guess, for WSVN. Um, I don't know if he was actually on this boat as a reporter. I think maybe. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, he documented uh, this travel, this uh, trip, basically, of, of folks who completely lost everything in this hurricane and we're headed to the united states maybe they have family um probably i would imagine that they can stay with as as they attempt to rebuild and um people are on the boat they're getting ready and then this uh this is an evacuation of the island and then this uh, announcement on the boat is uh, recorded. Please proceed to disembark. No, no, you don't. You don't. Said you come into the USA. You already have problems. So please, all passengers that don't have U.S. visa, please proceed to disembark. So basically, what it is, it's an announcement that the U.S. is going to require a visa. Now, look. Imagine how difficult it would be to get a visa under these circumstances. Everything you own has been destroyed. You have kids. Where do you stay while you're trying to get a visa? It's not like you go and you, you know, you get in a Metro card, you put some cash in it, it comes out. You got to go register. You got to, uh, there's probably a, a consulate. And it's a new requirement. That didn't exist before this natural disaster. They don't want to allow these refugees from this hurricane to come into the country. That's it. Bottom line. That's it. And so they instituted this new requirement so late in the game that people are being kicked off the boat. The evacuation boat. Uh, this guy, Brian Enton, did a couple of interviews with people. Uh, this uh, guy is uh, Renard Oliver. He has a baby in his um, his hand. They were headed from the Bahamas to Florida. Uh, he was told he could leave the Bahamas with a, a Bahaman passport and a police record. Apparently, they, you know, like my understanding is you can't get into Canada if you have a, um, a DUI. Although uh, this is the police will just record his Bahamian passport like normal, I guess. Right. Um, they right. just basically say like, okay, you know, we're we're just acknowledging that you are who you are, or whatever your records clean, whatever it is. And um, here he is responding to the fact that he and his baby have to be kicked off this evacuation boat. Uh, they just got a call from CBP, and CBP told them that everyone that doesn't have a U.S. visa and who's traveling on police record has to come off. And normally you can travel, right, and with police normally, record? Yeah, normally you can use police record by way of airplane at least, yeah. So you have to take your baby off? Yes, yeah, so I have to take her off, yeah. I mean, how, does, how do you feel? Um, 
at the last minute like this, you know, it's kind of disappointing. Um, it's hurtful because I'm um, watching my daughters cry, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, they uh, we have uh, another clip uh, from the same guy, Brian Etten, as the uh, boat is uh, leaving. And um, parents and kids now stuck on the island. Nobody understands why the rule was changed at the last minute. This? I think this is terrible. I think they should allow everyone to come into the U.S. They originally said that you can come without a police record and without a visa, and now they're taking that back. That's really ridiculous. That's How many awful. people do you think had to get off, did you see? They said 130 people had to come off. 130 people had to come off the ship tonight. And now we leave? Uh, now we're leaving them, and uh, it's only like 200 people on the boat now. Yeah, um, Brian Enton uh, writes, uh, nobody understands it. I and now it looks like they're like the CBP is blaming the ferry company and the ferry company is blaming the CBP. Well, right, because they, they it, it basically comes out. Um, here's CPB uh, Florida. Fortunately for the cruise line, for the Valeria to state that is is really heartbreaking because these people have suffered enough for, through what they went through. And then for the Valeria to go ahead and state that and break these people's hearts. I think they raised their expectations without fulfilling the requirements that if they had done that with us and worked with us, we would have been there to facilitate that process. However, they didn't. There's, we would have basically made sure that everybody was properly documented and facilitated that process working with the cruise line. So why they said that, I wouldn't know. And, it, and it's really heartbreaking for them to say that to these people that have really suffered more than, than beyond, beyond comprehension. Now, I'm unclear as to really what went down here. But it, what it sounds like is CPB did put new restrictions on. And the boat, the, the, the boat company felt like they weren't capable to how to administer it all. But this is why you put these restrictions on. I mean, people have to understand this. There are bureaucratic ways to make things harder to have happen. We see this every single time, from whether it's like the, the census question, whether it's voter ID, you just create obstacles and human beings are human beings. Companies are companies. There are certain obstacles they will not climb. There are certain obstacles they won't be able to climb. It's disgusting. The reporter wonders why? Do, really? Do we really got to wonder why? Why the response from... CBP is like, whatever, just have them on the boat. We'll figure it out when they get here. It's going to be a hassle. We'll figure it out on the boat. No, it's we're going to change our policy because this reflects our ideology here, a hostility towards refugees. Maybe we'll get a test case to see what happens if we were to get refugees from Greenland. But it's disgusting. That's who we are, folks. That's who we are. I mean. And then we get to hear about, hear the people responsible talk about how big of a shame it is. Right. This is the, I mean, this is exactly how you do it, right? We just simply asked for one or two new things. And the people who put, who, who put that in the pipeline know why they did that. It could eliminate up to 50% of the people. And it did. At least on this boat. At least on this boat. Uh, it's disgusting. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's, 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 just, it's just disgusting. 